Hi everyone. So today I would like to share with you a funny story. This little journal cover was just tucked away in a corner because I felt that it was a fail and nobody would like it. So I decided not to use it. My friend came over and she saw that and she asked, what are you hiding there? So I told her the story that it's actually a failed cover and she said she loves it so much I should make something for her. So I put together this little journal for her. It's just a wrap around closure. This little piece is what I use to cover some of the file. And then I just stamped these to match everything. So I put this little envelope for her. It says just for you with little pieces inside that she can use to glue into her journal and have some fun. So here I just did a little collage with journaling space. This is fabric stitched onto coffee dyed paper. A little paper clip to hold all of these little bits. All these interesting different papers that I included. This is a little teeny tiny envelope that says friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. And inside I've included almost a million little things, just little stickers and things to further have fun in her journal. These are just papers that I added in. This was stamped um, just with a little journaling spot on the back. This again is fabric stitched onto, not stitched, it's, this one is glued onto the paper. Um, and this one, it's a little butterfly. What I did is, this is a stamp butterfly which I fussy cut and then the little wings can lift up like this, which is quite beautiful. Again, I stamped in the back. It says, see the beauty in everyday things. And I just had a little tag that I could put in here. In this pocket, a journaling space, beautiful flower. This was take a porch from paper napkin. This is just a little collage on this flip, which is a hidden journaling spot. And then this little pocket goes sideways to hold the tag. This is coffee dyed and I love this grunge that came through. This is just more journaling space. This is an envelope that I stamped and I put it in like this. And in here, more little surprises. Just little papers to write notes on. This beautiful rose. This is the middle of this signature. These beautiful flowers was also from a paper napkin. Um, so what I did is I glued it onto cardstock and then I fussy cut around it to make this tuck spot. And I included all these little papers again. And this side I did the same thing with this flower. On the strings, I just added some beads. This is the other side, also with little papers, and it looks pretty much the same on the other side of this journal, except some little changes, a different tag, a little bit of interest on that page and the flower over there and then this side of this butterfly again with the wings lifting up you can see the stamping so 
is capture beautiful memories. So that is basically a bag. Like I said, it looks pretty much the same on the other side of the middle. So little bits of different things for interest. These are just I know she loves this little paper. She saw it when looking through my things and she loved it, so I put it in there for her. And that little embellished paper clip. Then over here, just some little pieces of paper. This one looks tiny, but it actually folds out. This I included because this was one of the paper napkins that she gifted me. Little piece that was left. And then this little book is just hanging onto this belly band. It's just a little pull out notebook of clean pages. And just slides in the back. Just like that. And that is the end. I hope she's going to love this. I know she loved the cover so much and the colors and the texture. I don't know if you can see the texture on here. There you can see it. And then closing, it just goes around. around there. Back. Up. Thank you.